Before Christian Bale was cast, Christopher Nolan met many young actors in Hollywood for the role of Bruce Wayne. One actor he met was Heath Ledger. Ledger was keen to work with Nolan, but didn't think he was right for the role of Bruce Wayne. Nolan later cast Ledger in The Dark Knight as the Joker. Gary Oldman had initially been approached by the studio to play Ra's al Ghul, but said he wasn't interested in playing a villain. Nolan then offered him the role of James Gordon. Oldman was also the final actor to be cast in the movie. Reportedly, Kurt Russell and Chris Cooper had been courted for the role of Gordon, but both actors turned it down. Christopher Nolan's first choice for Alfred was Anthony Hopkins, who turned down the role. Nolan went on to cast Michael Caine instead. Caine went on to star in every Christopher Nolan movie from Batman Begins to date. Nolan has called Caine his good luck charm. Killian Murphy originally auditioned for the role of Bruce Wayne. Nolan was very impressed with his audition, but didn't think he was right for the role. Nolan thought he'd be perfect as Jonathan Crane, aka the Scarecrow. The studio was initially against this as they wanted a bigger name to play the secondary villain in the movie. Ultimately, Murphy was cast and went on to star in the other two films in the trilogy. When Ken Watanabe's character speaks to Liam Neeson's character, he has his words translated. However, he isn't actually speaking any language, he is speaking gibberish. Watanabe made up the gibberish on set. During the scene of the sword fight on the frozen lake, Christian Bale and Liam Neeson could hear noises of the ice cracking beneath them. The actors returned to the lake the next day after filming, and the ice on the lake had completely melted. Before taking on the role of Bruce Wayne, Christian Bale had worked on the movie The Machinist. For that role, he only weighed 110 pounds. Bale needed to bulk up for the role of Batman and managed to go up to 200 pounds. Bale initially put on too much muscle and the bat suit didn't fit him. Christian Bale did his screen test for the role with Amy Adams. Amy Adams performed the role of Rachel Dawes during the audition process as a favour to the studio. Christopher Nolan cites Blade Runner as one of the biggest influences for making Batman Begins, and also screened the movie for the cast and crew before production began. Actor Rutger Hauer, who played Roy Batty in Blade Runner, was cast in Batman Begins as Mr. Earl. Warner Brothers were initially against teasing the Joker as the villain of the next film, as they thought it'd be a bit too much for the audience. Now most superhero movies contain post-credit scenes teasing something the next film will feature.